This is the TPR9C from Bursa. I'm one of the first ones, I'm glad to say. I feel kind of special. But um, I don't do a lot of hammer fire guns in my videos. Uh, and when I do, I generally like them, even though I don't shoot them a lot. Um, I'm from the age of the striker fired guns. So for me, it's a, it's a, I don't know. I think it's just natural for me to gravitate towards striker fired guns. But I gotta say, this is rather unique. It's a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit of a different setup. As you can see here, you got, you got safety, right? Cock back, safety activates as a decocker. And then you have a very, and that kind of disengages the trigger. And then on top of that, then you get a full, that's your double action. Actually pretty smooth, really smooth actually. Then racket, and we got the single action. That's your wall right there. And then, sure, damn, holy shit. That reset is short as hell. So let's shoot this thing. There we go. All right. See. So in hand, uh, feels pretty good. It does have a bit of a palm swell to it. So it works with my hands. I don't know if it may or may not work with yours. I love the ergos. I love how everything's readily accessible and big, but then stays out of the way. So I can still grip the gun without engaging the slide lock when it locks, so that it, or deactivating the slide lock so that it doesn't lock back when I shoot it. So this is on. That was double action. Double action is heavy. I want to say about 10 pounds, but it's really smooth, so it's easy to kind of gauge. So we'll try it again. Right. Pretty smooth. All right, this guy here. There we go. I gotta say the trigger is really nice. Um, especially in single action. And that reset is incredibly short. Also, <sighs> recoil. Where is it? Because it's not here. Um, usually with guns this small, I mean, you expect there to be a lot of recoil, but this one doesn't. But then again, this is a metal gun. Um, it isn't polymer. So a lot of that weight is absorbing a lot of that recoil, but then the gun doesn't feel overly heavy as well. So it's a, it's a beautiful balance if you ask me. I'm always trying to shoot these impossible angle shots. There's this guy right here. I really like shooting this thing. It feels really good in hand. The gun stays really flat. Like I'm not getting a lot of kick up and then probably because of the shorter barrel, but it makes the gun really easy to shoot. I like this a lot actually it just feels really good in hand it feels really balanced that's another thing about this gun i just noticed that it had a um a chamber indicator on top of the gun as well so this is a really safety oriented gun so to speak i know a lot of people don't like safeties um some people don't even like chamber indicators i don't know why that is but for the most part all of the all of it seemingly stays out of the way um it doesn't seem intrusive i really like the way the gun looks too it's kind of a dope looking gun because it it's kind of unique, um, especially in the age of all guns looking alike these days. So, take a look at that, that bad boy there. I just wish I had more rounds. I think I'm running for like 13 rounds. I only have two rounds left. Let's see. So, let me see if I have any more ammo in my pocket. Ah, what do you know? Some goodies. All right, so I'll set this down. You guys can take a look at it while I load up some more rounds. Um, the gun is pretty feature rich, you know, like you have the safety, the safety to cocker, you have chamber indicator. Um, it looks like what is maybe proprietary rail system. I may be wrong. I literally just brought this out and just started shooting it. Didn't look into any of the info, but it looks proprietary to me. Uh, but it may not, may be wrong. Uh, like I said, the trigger is awesome. The grips are interesting. They're very smooth. So. For someone looking at this gun from a carry-oriented perspective, 
I think they'll like it a lot because it's not going to do much in the way of ripping up your shirts or being really scratchy against the body if they decide to carry this thing. Let's do some more shooting. I have this obsession with popping these guys that are poking out of the car. And I think largely because they never freaking fall. There we go. Oh, that's See? See them there? Guys sitting. There we go. This gun's actually pretty fun to shoot. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried that I might get some uh, hammer bite from the gun, considering that the beaver tail's not that extensive or elongated. But so far I haven't had any issues and I usually always get hammer bites on guns that don't have elongated um, beaver tail. So I'm happy to say that my hands are not bleeding. We're out. So that's my first mag for the TPR 9C from Bursa. Really soft shooting gun, really flat shooting gun. The trigger is really nice, especially for a double action single. First pull is really long. The single action is short, very short reset and really smooth as well with a definable wall and you know how much i'm obsessed with having a definable wall as you can see here it's there's no question that's where that wall is and then it breaks and then boom just like that there's the reset the controls are really beefy which i like because i can actuate them really easy but then at the same time they stay out of the way so i can really just shoot the gun and not have to worry about accidentally engaging it um the slide lock same way i tend to ride the slide lock um and in this case here as you see it's almost like they anticipated that because you have these cutouts here which allows me to kind of sit underneath it without forcing it up and so i could still get my lock i can still get the slide to lock back and at the same time it doesn't even though they're big for some reason it still doesn't i don't find myself sitting on top of it preventing the gun from locking back like i do on a lot of hks unfortunately um but so first mag i i gotta say i'm I'm color me impressed. I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it a lot more. I didn't really want to do too much talking in this video because there's something about this gun that's kind of fun to shoot. And I think it's because the gun is so unique. Um, it can get a little redundant with a lot of guns because they all tend to mirror each other a little bit. It's kind of like the fashion industry. They all just kind of steal from each other. But this gun is definitely a unique gun that I think there are that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. Um, it's a good looking gun, it's, it's a cool looking gun. Like I said, it does have some heft to it, but not so much so that, that you would absolutely not think about carrying this. Um, and the gun is just really soft to shoot. And for those people who are safety oriented, who like to have safeties and like have, having different measures in place to prevent accidents, so forth and so on. I mean, you, like I said, you got the big safety lever, which is a decocker, you got the chamber indicator. I mean, you're good to go. Um, and not to mention it's ambidextrous too as well. So. It's a sweet little, sweet little package, sweet little gun. Uh, the sights are pretty dope too, your typical three dot sights. You can't go wrong with that, quite frankly. But there it is, TPR 9C from Bursa. What's going on folks, this is Coleon Noir. If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button that should be located on the bottom left portion of the screen. I mean, come on, who are you fooling? I know you want to.